Hello everyone, I'm Tesak and welcome to another part of Pixel Draw. Today we are going to be looking at shadows, uh, how to draw shadows and this will be basically three part series or three part part <laughs> in this series or let's call it trilogy, trilogy of shadows and in the first part we're gonna look at so called differing. So, I think it should be appropriate to start with explaining what the differing is and for that let me just quickly make a rectangle take a dark pixel or darker color and start drawing now differing is technique that as far as I understand is one of the oldest if not the oldest one that we can use for drawing and pixelated images uh, in differing you are basically blending two colors together in our case it's black and white because on these colors I found it it's really easy to understand the whole concept and basically all you are trying to do is create an patterns that makes the illusion of two colors blending and if I'm gonna start at this point with explaining what I'm doing then basically I started with really scattered dark pixels which make the final image looks a little bit darker then I made a transition to pattern which isn't as dark because we still have more dark pixels but at the same time we are keeping like light pixels as well but we are keeping them in like clusters the light pixels are in clusters the dark pixels are still broke down then the next part of the transition we have dark pixels and white pixels in the same numbers but we are no longer keeping them separated we are keeping them basically one by one every other pixel is the different color then we basically repeat this pattern like I like to call this part stars then we continue with stars but we make them in the opposite color I think I messed up uh, one, do, uh, one really important thing to keep in mind is that I don't really like this, this technique I'm not really fan of the differing so I will be honest with you if I say that I had to look it up before making this before making this episode and make sure that I'm not gonna be talking nonsense okay and it seems like I made a mistake so let's just quickly correct it and now it should be fine should be yeah now we achieved the, the part with the dark stars as well completed now it's time to make the rest of this rectangle pure darker color and let's take a white color again and continue on making basically the same pattern as we have right here but in opposite colors this way we can add smoothness if you are not looking for smooth transition you can skip this part and go straight for this part and at this point we are basically done and we're just gonna make it's on the other side as well so it's like consistent and now this is differing this is how you achieve uh, this is how you achieve the transition now before we start drawing and before I will show you how to apply this to object let me quickly draw the set object and we will talk just for a while about lighting because if we wanna like apply apply shadows for something then we have to understand 
the light and all the things that are necessary for drawing believable image. Okay. <clears throat> I think this will do. Uh, basically, it's just small box. Let's imagine this is a card box, but we are in like <laughs> really antique times and we only have two colors. So the outlines are dark, the filling is white. Now, I have to understand that if I have this box right here and if I make second box right here, then let's imagine we are looking at this, this, this view is the same box but from the upper side. So if we are looking at this box from this end from this side, it means that we can see these three sides. These sides are this side is this one, this side is on this side, and this side is on this side. And we have to decide from which side we will apply a light. Basically, the easiest way is to put light on. Uh, well, the easiest way is to put light on only one side. Let's say this one. And then. This side will be pure white and on this side and this side we will have uh, basically this transition. If we decide it's go, it will be going from upside, like basically from the side that we are looking, then this side will be pure white and these sides will have transitions. If we decide to be from this side, then this side that we can see will be pure white, this side will have transition, and this one can be pure black. I think you understand what I mean by that. So let's say that in our case, we will have light coming from this side, which means that no side is gonna be pure black and no side is gonna be pure white. But we will have transition on this side and we would have small transitions on these sides and these sides. And I will see how you, how quick we will get through this side. And if we get through this side like super quick, then we can apply uh, effects on this side and this side as well. So let me just quickly grab a black color and let's prepare this, this corner first. We absolutely don't want a dark pixel up there, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to have dark pixel right here. So let's apply it right here and here, and then we can continue, like start making the transition from this side. Now I do want this side to keep really like light, but at the same time the light is coming from this side, so I'm gonna apply the different effect from the start. So I will start here and here and here and here and now I really want starting making the transition so if I remember correctly after the scattered ones it's time for the stars so let's start making stars and I think we can start with the star right here and continue right here yeah and now, because it's a really small image, we have to continue on transitioning to the checkered side, even though it's still perfectly fine to continue with the stars. Well, we would be continuing with the stars and then make the quick transition, but I don't like that idea, so we're just gonna quickly finish this star in order to make it like lighter up there, but down there, we already will be starting with the checkered side. And now after uh, only two layers of checkered sides or checkered transition, it's time to start with the dark stars. So let me quickly start down there and apply this effect and also right here. And we have real basic transition or our box.
Uh, the time looks fine, so we can apply just fine little tuning to this side and this side. And I think that everything we need to add on this side is only just these two pixels. Because if I apply pixel down there, it's not gonna look good. But I can change that and I can place pixel right here, pixel right here and pixel right here. It will look darker down there, but it's fine because remember, the light is coming from this side. So basically under this angle, this side should be darker. If you look back, looks fine. Then we wanna apply something similar to this side. And I will later explain why I am applying it to the sides that are basically lit up. So this side is bigger and I don't wanna go for the complete dark side. I wanna go for only, let's say, uh, check it. So I'm gonna apply just few checks right here and then I can go for star and then I can apply the really scattered one and that's fine. Now it really makes an appearance or it really appears that there the box is in the dark on this side and this side and the light is coming from this side. Now why I did this? If the light is coming from this side, then these two sides should be light up. Isn't that right? Well, it's right. By in pix but in pixel art, we really have to think about delivering as much information which as a small number of colors and pixels as possible. Unless you are making like huge images, then you can really sacrifice this style of thinking. But this image is just 25 pixels by 10 pixels so we can sacrifice that and if i apply the differing to this side as well to in order to make the shadows uh, i achieve something that our brain interprets as this side is bright like this place is brighter than this place and this place and subconsciously it will make it appear that this side or this part of this side and this part of this side is like way brighter. I think you get the idea. I hope you get the idea because I have no idea how to explain it like more. Well, anyway, this is the basics of differing and I hope that I managed to deliver the message uh, like understandably. Uh, if I made some mistake, I apologize, I don't really like the frame, but in the next episode we are going to be looking at basically coloring the shadow by hand, which is also quite old technique, but it's not as antique as this one. So, thank you for watching, I hope you found this uh, video at least a little bit useful, I hope it's showed you what is so awesome about pixel art and i will see you in the next one see ya